Hi, in this series I will take you through a couple of DOS attacks, a few malware related attacks, things like that. So very fast DOS attack um, I will be using today is um, SINFLOOD. Uh, now I hope uh, you already remember that um, when two nodes are trying to communicate, um, they may use um, uh, the three-way handshake, what we call. Uh, so first, uh, the um, host, uh, sorry, uh, I will use the term tar uh, target machine and attacking machine. First of all, the attacking machine will be sending a SYN packet and then if the packet goes to the target machine, target machine will reply with an acknowledgement. So target machine will be replying with SYN act packet. After replying that, target machine will be waiting to get the final packet from source again, which will be uh, act packet. Uh, however, with this SYN flood attack, this um, attacker just send a SYN packet, target machine replies and waits for the final piece, which will never go. By that way, we will try to overload that target machine with many, many, many little tasks. At some point, it will create a denial of service uh, consequence. Um, so to do this task, what I will be using a Kali VM uh, and I will use Metasploit in Kali VM. Um, I will use Windows 7 VM as target. Obviously, you can use any other uh, target as well. That will not be a problem. So let me take you to my first screen. I'm using a VMware workstation. So I have Kali running and Windows 7 running. So first I'm showing you my Windows 7 screen. If I make it uh, bigger. Very first I will do um, quickly take my IP address of uh, Windows 7 machine which is 104719 uh, 10, and then what I will do I will uh, turn on the Wireshark um, because a bit later on when I send lots of traffic Wireshark will allow me to see what's exactly happening I will also uh, wants to open uh, da, 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 the taskbar so that I can show you um, at the moment my workshark is running and you see only one two three four percent of this PC uh, CPU being used uh, suddenly it will be a bit be better a uh, bit more but uh, in general one two three four percent so this is it from my um, uh, victim machine. I just took the IP address and then I will move on to my um, target machine. Oh, sorry, attacking machine. Now, this is my attacking machine, which is running Kali. So I'm making the screen bigger. Very fast, I want to uh, check whether my attacking machine can talk to my uh, target machine so uh, ping 10.4.7 oops sorry let's see ping 10.4.7.19 uh, was the IP address of uh, my target machine so I can see it is pinging um, I will also check what is the IP address of um, my attacking machine which is 21 I don't need it really uh, but I will just uh, keep it um, in case I need it uh, firstly what I did um, I opened another um, a terminal and in this terminal I did run uh, in map on my target machine so I said look at my target machine uh, which is 19 check all the ports port number 1 to 65535 um, check all the ports and show me the list of only those open ports now it gave me a list of all of these ports which are open at the moment some of these ports does have certain services but i just wanted to find uh, an open port uh, so that i can send this uh, sin attack through those open ports there is no point of me trying to send the traffic uh, to a port which is closed so 
from here I can see port number 135 is open um, I will just target 135 for time being but I will suggest you to target all the other ports when you do this practice so um, in this case I will be using uh, metasploit um, metasploit to attack metasploit does have this auxiliary which called uh, sin flood so I will be using that sin flood to attack my target machine uh, after running nmap I need to uh, run metasploit to run metasploit very fast I need to have this service post grayscale uh, running make sure you are running that without running this service you cannot run metasploit so when this service is running then i will start my metasploit again if you don't remember this please go back to the um, other tutorial what i made i'm running metasploit by typing msf console now MSF console will give me the uh, metasploit screen from there I will be using a couple of different commands um, to find um, the right tool this metasploit does have 960 uh, 906 auxiliary um, I'm looking for uh, one of the auxiliary which called um, a sin flood so uh, firstly as I suggested on my previous tutorial always type the name um, saying uh, search sin flood when you type the right name you will find where exactly that um, uh, auxiliary is located so from here we know where this auxiliary is located and now I can type use um, auxiliary uh, does uh, TCP and sin flood so uh, my location is within this sin flood firstly what I need to do is to check the options as we did for previous tutorial so very fast I want to see show options look at couple of different things here interface you can give a name of the interface of attacking machine but this is not required you can have the number how many packets you want to send i will come to this point a bit later on again this is not required our host is the remote host uh, you need to set our host where you want to attack um, this is record field our port you need to set a remote port exactly where you want to attack by default it has picked up 80 but probably we don't want that uh, for our scenario we found that I had uh, sorry my end map is gone uh, no it is here for my scenario I can see port number 135 is open so I don't want to attack on port 80 but I want to attack on port 135 uh, now you can set a host which is uh, the target host you can set the target host as a different host um, uh, the, just to fake um, like uh, you are sitting on computer number 21 probably you want to send some traffic as if it's coming from computer number 25 we can do that so let's um, set up all of those other things before exploiting this vulnerability to set up our host first of all I need to say set and uh, our host remember that's um, case sensitive so not small our host uh, capital our host then I need to enter the IP address of my uh, host there now second one I want to set up the R port remote port uh, this case uh, you want to have port number 135 135 uh, now I could set up uh, uh, I could set up uh, S host as well uh, which is not needed so I will leave uh, S host let's leave S host once you have set up that R host remote host R port remote port um, now you are kind of ready to exploit however I will always suggest you to type show options again just to make sure you have typed it right so if everything is fine what you do you can type exploit or run now this is the problem what you may find in your metasploit as well 
after running this i can see it is telling me no method error this is the common error what uh, you can do to fix it if you just set uh, a value for this num that will solve the problem uh, hopefully so let's try what i'm doing i'm setting the value for num as zero and now um, i'm doing exploit again and this time sin flooding started on this particular machine <coughs> which was our target machine on this particular port now let's see how it is uh, working on our target machine if i go back to my um, windows box now okay oh my windows box seems like hanged okay so this was our windows box if i show you uh, the cpu use still it is not that bad but as you can see suddenly it has started uh, picking up it was only one percent and it went to 47 percent let me run the local area connection and then uh, i'm using wireshark just to show you uh, whether actual traffic is coming or not you can see um, quite a large amount of traffic is coming i did not set <coughs> any um, s host there and um, that has picked up a default um, um, a default ip address what i had on second card so it would be better for you to set up a s host uh, anyways but if i show you this any of these you can see um, traffic is coming to this destination which was my target and um, then traffic is coming on to port number 135 all of these are just a sin packet it does not have any sin act or it does not have obviously any act uh, what this pc is doing uh, keep replying with sin act packet and waiting for the final act which will never come and um, if it goes like this way um, after a certain time obviously this pc will be doing number of other things and after a certain time this pc will say okay that's it uh, i don't have any more resource to continue and uh, that's the point where uh, we can call it as successful dos attack okay thank you